uh, absolutely. Uh, I, I saw all my 2018 was so bad. I know uh, I lost two fights in the GFC. Uh, then they released me to the company. Uh, you know, a lot of problems coming from, from this moment after that. So I just uh, go forward. I just go, go forward, uh, keep my, my, my robe to the, come back to the company and I'm here, you know. I, right now I feel really happy. I feel in peace with my heart, with my life because uh, I think this is my official return to the company. My last fight was a draw. To be honest, I feel I won that fight, but the judges uh, see another thing, saw another thing and it's fine. So right now it's my official return to the company and I'm, and I'm happy. What's been the difference? Just hungry. I'm hungry again. When when I had that uh, kind of mom, bad moments in my life, was like, hey, really? I I deserve more in my life. You know, I deserve more. It was hard. And sometimes when you go, uh, I I went like a kind of a, a start to the flyweight in division in the UFC. A kind of. Not too much, but kind of. And sometimes just just start to feel different, just start to feel like weak, you know? But I'm hungry right now. I, I'm hungry again, I'm starving, and I'm ready for an, a new challenge. Anything surprise you in the fight from your opponent? Uh, he resists a lot. He, he, he has a little, uh, really good chin, because I, I know the, uh, the first round was hard, but I wanted to feel uh, his power. I, I saw all his career, his last fights, a lot of power uh, in, in his uh, right overhand. I, I tried to feel, feel it a little bit. Uh, first round complicated, but second and third round, I pushed all the pressure in my opponent in Kai, and yeah, uh, his resistance was amazing, to be honest, because I put a lot of good punches in his face. Any, any worries when it went to the scorecards at all, just with what happened last time? Uh, sorry, again? I, were, were there any concerns about no, no, no. I'm happy right now. I, I, I think this is a, the correct decision. Yes. Well, it's just based after what happened last time. It, you know, yeah, I know. Fight yeah. Yeah, the last, the last fight was like, I mean, I know it was a hard fight. Uh, Haskar Ashcroft ha, uh, had a really good moment in that fight. But I think I put pressure. I put the best uh, punches in the fight. I don't know. Just I try to be focused on my next step and my next step. And... Watch me right now. I'm happy. I'm so you, here. So you're hungry and you're coming back. Is it, does yes. it changing the way that you're fighting? Are you approaching the fights differently when you're going in there? Maybe trying to be more exciting? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, not really. Because I'm trying to be like this kind of Brandon Moreno in the, in the past. But I, I don't have the, the, the skills, the, the necessary skills. Uh, I meet a, a, a striking coach in, in Tijuana, uh, Drift Cortez. He's not here because he don't has a, a visa. To cross the border, but he, he, I evolved a lot in my stri in my stri uh, striking in the last uh, one and a half years, and I feel my comfortable in my stand-up. You know, I feel my comfortable. I throw my jab, more punches, and I try to to change the the the, uh, the power of the of the combos, and I think that was a really uh, good uh, key to the victory to, today. I, I have I have two more, two more. I have two more. Yes. Brent, you look like a more confident version of, of yourself. Is this from age and experience, or have there been some changes made in your camp or emotionally? What? Why are you so much better now? It's 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 weird because I'm really young. <laughs> I'm uh, 26 years old, but I have too much time in this sport. You know, I have like uh, training 13 years in this sport, so I have a lot of experience a lot of good moments in this sport. It's a combination of experience and, you know, like hungry and start starving. I think it's a combination, you know? And you always have a good attitude and a smile. What do you, what do you I love this. I, I, I love this moment. I, I love you, brother. I love you. I live this, I love this moment, of course, and, and enjoy every single uh, second in, in this moment. One of the things that changes here is you sign with your management with Jason House and Meridian Sports. How many yeah. differences has that been in your career? Oh, that, that, was, that was a really good move, you know? Uh, I, in in all that moment in 2018, I feel like I, I needed a, a, a new a new water in my life, a new, new move. 
Uh, Idiom Sports come with me and, and talk a little bit about my career. Hey, we can, we can work together and make a little good and amazing things uh, together. Uh, I talked with my with my team. I talked with my family. Uh, it was a, a hard decision because it was the first time to uh, I work with uh, like uh, American management. Uh, it was a, a hard decision, but I think um, it was a, the the correct decision. I'm here again in the UFC. Imagine that. Uh, and now my everything I think is perfect. My my team is perfect. I, I love my, my team in Tijuana. I love my, my management. I love everything. Uh, I think it was the, the correct decision. What's next? I know it's the first uh -huh. time. Are you looking to get back in there? Do you want it's a big win for you? Yeah. The next for me right now is go to Tijuana. I need a lot of tamales for Christmas, <laughs> to be honest, you know. No, but I understand uh, 2000, uh, 2020 will be a hard and crazy year. I know that. Right now I'm, I'm the number five in the flyweight rankings in the UFC. So I know the next fight will be really hard. I don't know. Uh, I, I know for me, guys, is it's free. You don't have a, a, a compromise in the future. So maybe for me, um, I don't know. I, I lost two times with Pantoja, who fought uh, against Machinel the next week. But I don't know. To be honest, I, I'm not the fighter who say, hey, I want to fight with you because I hate you now, no, never. But I know the next year will be really, really interesting for me. Was this one of the toughest guys you fought? He had a lot of potential, a lot of wins. Do you think he can continue to be successful? How can you bring compared to the other guys? Uh, all the guys are amazing. All the guys are amazing. Uh, Kai Kara France is, is an, a nice and amazing prospect in this division. But in comparison with Kai, I, uh, I was in the same spot like him, like one year and a half before, three, three wins in a row, Jupsy uh, lo loved me a lot, you know? So I had the experience. This, I think in this tonight was that, I had the experience in that moment. And, and I don't know, everybody in the, in the UFC, not just in the flyweight division, um, had a, 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 lot, a, a lot of uh, good skills, are amazing guys, are amazing athletes, but, I, I had a, a really, really hard for, for my life, for my family, for my team, for an entrance gym with my head coach, Raul, Raul Arbizu in Tijuana, uh, my, my boxing coach in Tijuana, Drift Cortez, uh, my, my brother, my, 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 my teammates. So I don't know, I, I need to go forward, just go forward. Did you say anything to him afterward? Or no, I, just respect, just a lot of respect for, for Kai, you said? A lot of respect. Uh, I know he's amazing, and I know he's he's young like me, and had and he has a lot of future, a lot of fight uh, coming for him. So I have just respect for him.